Hi guys, in this video I want to show you how you can possibly speed up your video footage when you're editing a video to stop that jerky footage that we all know about. The first technique is command comma turn off background rendering. It's on by default. It also creates huge file sizes in the project file. So you can try turning this off and then it's not always rendering all the time. If you've got multiple clips, you know, a huge timeline, it may be beneficial to turn this off. The second technique is proxy files. I just want to do a very basic example so you can grasp the idea of it if you're not entirely sure. Okay, so we, ha we have here two files and we're going to proxify, we're going to create proxies for this one. Okay, which is already in the timeline. So we right click the from the import window You right click the clip if you have a bunch of clips You just select them all and do it in one go like highlight it press command a and then do it the same way I'm just going to do this one clip. So we right click transcode media and Here we can choose ProRes proxy at 50% that means it creates proxies which are half the quality So they should play back much faster, but it doesn't change the original quality of the final export okay so then we just press okay and now you're, you're thinking what do we do now how do we know well what we need to do is click the clip we go to the view on the right here and we can click proxy preferred all right so we can choose the original or we can choose proxy only I probably should have picked proxy only to start with you see now we've got this little uh, warning sign saying this isn't proxied but this is proxied all right so let me explain we've got to put this in the timeline to start with we change this now we proxy preferred that's showing this one it's showing the original and the proxy one because it's preferring the proxy but it's not eliminating the the non-proxified one which is fair enough so it's probably best to keep it in this in this setting so you don't all your unproxied media doesn't disappear or you can just go to the original the you want to go back but um, at the end of the day you can just do proxy only and and there we go we can just start working working like that and just to show you if you pr if you've proxied it and then you want to undo that again it's like how you do that what we need to do is click the clip that is proxied we click file from the menu and then press delete generated clip files then delete proxy media so then you go back to the full original so you can change this back to the optimized original so that's it thanks for watching i hope you learned something from this it's been a pleasure to to talk about it and demonstrate this if you find this content useful please subscribe to this channel help us grow to 1000 subscribers and hit the like button I'll see you in the next video. Peace.